Hi, it's Maggie, and I'm recording because it's end of the month favorites or empties. Empties! <laughs> so, I want to start off with my Juicy to Couture, Juicy Couture perfume. Juicy Couture by Juicy Couture. <laughs> um, I love this bottle. I like to put it in my purse. It was pretty, and it has a little bling bling on the top. And I have the big bottle, but this is one of my favorite perfumes, so... Juicy Couture. Next, I have the Caress Juicy Escape Kiss Sun Kiss Lily and Pink Grapefruit Escape Fresh. That's a long name, but it smelled really good. And this was a recommendation by my sister, and they have so many different blends, uh, um, scents. And not only that, but if you see, this is an 18-ounce bottle. So this was really worth it. I thought um, the price point was right on it. So I thought that was a good purchase. Next, another body wash. And this I received in my last month's glossy box. And it was for Valentine's. It smelled so good. I had to use it every day. And it was supposed to be for like special occasions, right? But um, it's called Yogi Flow. And it was kind of very interesting. Um, this is Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. And it smells so good. Oh my gosh, did I just get it out of the wash? <laughs> I think I just got it out of the shower. Still... It smells so good. And what it does is, I think it it might have a little bit, it, it like went on like a, yeah, went on like a gel, and then it expands. And oh my gosh, just so, I might get this back in the shower. It looks like it has one more in there. Um, but it has this, this, this foam, and then when you, it, oh, it smells so good. So, just well, well, well worth it. Okay. <clears throat> um, first B body, uh, I mean, um, facial, no, I'm thinking about body, um, facial wipes, um, not so impressed, it was on sale, so I bought it, uh, it took off my makeup okay, but my eye makeup, it was kind of like, I felt like I was tugging at my makeup, so, eh, I might buy it again if it was on sale to keep it for my makeup drawers, but not really for washing my face, not, not, it wasn't that great, just to tell you that, um, Maxima, you know, it's I my mean, number one shower face, um, fire, shower face wash. There you go. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> um, and all gone. It's another one. I think I go through one of these a month, pretty much, or six weeks or something like that. Now, this was a mistake. Um, is given to me, so I wasn't going to waste it, but I used the blue one for dry skin, but this was great. Um, it's just specialized for dark spots and correcting cream, so I don't really use that, but it is still the same. It hydrates and all that. Uh, won't clog your pores, so, and it smells really pretty. That's why I hated to throw it out. It's a full bottle, so I appreciate that. And it has, it had, um, B3 in it, so that was awesome. Um, next... My, uh, makeup remover uh, for and I use this for my eyes or sometimes just to clean off my brushes so definitely the Selma Hayek brand and this is 4.3 it took me a long time to use it kind of looks like a little bit of an oil you shake it and then you use it, it smells really pretty it smells like roses everything she makes has this really pretty floral scent so um, just real natural stuff in it awesome I'll probably purchase that again okay the deep conditioner love this but now I love this but this is really pricey um, all my deep conditioners are real pricey because curly hair is not cheap um, you have to special condition it or you're in trouble so I um, uh, got the new I got the mixed chicks one again I don't know some time ago I told you guys I used that one this is great but it was a small bottle very expensive I wanted to try it I, it was really good I'll probably purchase it again if um, I get some kind of a deal I probably get this again just kind of pricey and I, I'll stick to the ones that I know that it work for me you know so I'm glad it worked for me though um true match Lumi um, this is in uh, natural N3. I love this. My favorite one. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Um, and I ran out and I went out and got me a new one. Just like it. Alright. Glam Glow. And this one you... 
This when you open it, 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 oh well, there's nothing to show you. It's kind of creepy looking, um, <laughs> but it is awesome. It has like little chunks and stuff. Um, this is good, and I think this is my second one. I had a lot of these in samples, and I'm like, why am I not using this? such a good product? So, it's for your face, and it exfoliates, and it's a little uh, young uh, youth mud mask. Okay. Um, cleaning Clear Bursting Morning Burst. This was fun. It was a, one of those samples. I, I, I hate it because I have so many samples from boxes and, and sometimes I just like forget to take it with me in the shower. So now I have all these little samples in the shower that I'm trying out. But this was really fun. I was able to use it for I think a week almost. And it was really soft on my skin and stuff. But you know, I really like washing my face with this in the morning. This is more, feels more medic -y, like um almost like a menthol kind of feel or smell um and i just think i've gotten used to that smell so i don't worry but this this was this really didn't have a scent to it it felt really good it was really creamy and it was really soft so um would i purchase this maybe i mean i would use it again if i had another sample because it worked really well um so there you go um this this was another sample one this was um i'm sorry this was um primer and it was actually it smelled good. It was really soft. It was nice. It was actually super soft, like softer than the regular um, primers, if if you know what I mean. Because and this is a made in um, USA product. Um, I haven't seen this anywhere. There's a website back here um, for www.emani.com, um, but I mean, cruelty free, made in USA. It sounds like a good product. I just it worked really well. I just haven't seen it out anywhere, so I'm gonna have to go check that out. Um, I used this cream, high skin refining. This was another sample. It did nothing for me. I just used it up, and there it is. Um, I love, love, love. Oh wait, there's two more skin things. I might as well get the skin things out of the way. Um, this stuff. It was like correcting. Uh, corrector. I don't think I used this correctly. I used it all up, but I don't think I used it correctly because um, I thought it was. <laughs> I, I I was putting it on my pimples and, and and if I had some kind of a a blemish, putting it on and going to sleep with it. But I think you're supposed to use it underneath your makeup to like even out things. So I wasn't really sure. It says apply to hydrating for sun. So I think you're supposed to use it before you uh, like put on your makeup. But I was using it as a like a little blemish kind of thing. So I don't know. Um, I used it all up. Apparently I have blemishes somewhere. So um, this was a night cream or a cream in general, not even a night cream. Treatment cream. Um, it was moisturizing. It didn't really do anything for me. I wouldn't repurchase it. It just was a sample. Um, it was a nice size sample, that's why I was able to use it, but it, it was nothing special that my pawns didn't do for me, so, sadly, it's not going to be something I would purchase. Okay, Kate Moss Lipstick. I love Kate, I mean, actually this is Rummel Lipstick, this is the Kate Moss one. This is all out, and it was like, um, can I still get some out? <laughs> I really love this color. This was, um number 14 what the heck is a 14 but it was really like just a neutral I'm gonna push it but it was like a light brown um, color what does it say at the bottom everlasting 14 uh, I don't know if that's the name I don't think it is anyway this is a Kate Moss one and all the ones that she did are so awesome um, I honestly don't have any Rummel ones that aren't from Kate so <laughs> I guess I'm going to go and experiment more. That was one of my favorite ones. That was my backup. I have one in my purse and I have that one. It was in my desk at work and I was so sad. I'm like, it's gone. You know, and it's like a lot of times you don't have time to touch up your makeup or I don't have time to touch up my makeup during the day. And the one thing I could reach for is my hand cream and my lipstick. And so I kept it in my top drawer. I could reach for that. If I washed my hands, I could go get some lotion. But I never, like, would bring my whole makeup bag to the bathroom or anything. So I, I had that lipstick there. So I just, real quick after lunch or something. Um, this is the Pixie. And it's Mascara Lash um, Booster Mascara. I like this. I liked it a lot. 
only problem is it dried up real quick. Um, ooh, and then look at that. Ooh, no, but um, I did like it. I just I don't think I would buy it in a big formula because it did dry up so quickly. And I'm having trouble. Oh, see, oh, the mascara gunked up. Oh, well, anyway. I, I liked it, um, but I would not repurchase this because it dried out too fast and then um, kind of, I can't get it back in there because it's all gloopy. Okay. Next. Um, not a makeup product, but my candle by Pink Lemonade Punch uh, Bath and Body Works. This is the one my niece got me for Valentine's. It's almost gone. I've been keeping it on a warmer to keep my um, room smelling good. And I really, really um, like this scent. It's very pretty. I'm glad she picked it for me. Um, not a makeup product. My Mod Podge. I've been creating a lot of things this month. Um, my sister gets me into a lot of trouble. And she uh, um, she volunteers me for projects. And she's so funny. And I said, like, you got to stop doing that. <laughs> but anyway, she volunteered me to a project with her friend. It's her friend's daughter's birthday. And um, I'm going to be doing um, some of these uh what do we call them mason jars um big and small so i'm just painting them black and i'm gonna decorate them and um kind of bling them out with glitter and just put a big bow and make it pretty but i ran out of mod podge so i have to go run right now to the store and buy some to finish my project otherwise i'm in trouble i won't meet my deadline that i never made for myself all right dry shampoo this stuff smells so good. This is another one. You know, I have like tons of samples from all the boxes I ever had. Now I only have two subscriptions. But anyway, this is um, two or three. Technically three. But um, my Just Fab, I always skip it. So until I find a nice pair that I like, I'm just skipping it. Um, so makeup, makeup, two. This was in, I think, my one of my beauty boxes a few months ago it smells so good but I didn't really know what to do with it and I'm actually putting it in my hair today and it's actually not um, it's dry shampoo not dry hairspray because um, I saw some of those so I put this in my hair and I did it and my hair is real fluffy today so apparently my hair liked it we'll see what happens um, I, I've used this before but I kind of just threw it there because I didn't really see any wow so um apparently it probably likes the day after hair so i'm gonna i'll tell you more about this but it smells really good really really good like i don't know what to per, i don't know but it's like a nice perfume scent i can't describe it okay this is my new discovery and i'm gonna do a whole review on it this is what's on my nails today and this is the CoverGirl XL Nail Gel. <sighs> and this is in blue. This is the name of it. And it is so awesome. And look at the shine. I don't have a top coat, by the way. So, this is what this did. Yay! It's such a pretty color, which made me pull out this nice little leopard scarf out the closet, right? Um... This is so pretty, and they have such pretty colors. And let me tell you, you know how the nail gel, nail polish you had to use before with that little machine? You don't need a machine for this. You put it on. It actually lasts more than three days. And I can only say three days for me because um, it lasted longer on my sister. I do dishes every day. Well, that sounded wrong. Like, she doesn't do dishes. She does do dishes, I promise. Um, but three days with doing massive dishes and I'm on the typewriter or the computer all day and all that good stuff so that was awesome and it's shiny and it's pretty and it's it's long lasting what can I say except for that so I'm going to do a whole review on this um and show you some of the pretty colors they have next and I think yep this is my last thing my NARS um this is in Laguna which is such a fabulous fabulous color um, I hit pan a long time ago, but I just can't bring it to myself. I've been using the... I can't really... I don't know. I, I have it as a um, bronzer right now, if you can see my... There you go. It's that color. <clears throat> but the reason I did, I, I'm pulling this out is because I was so sad that this is running out, and I'm just using this to contour my nose now and make it like I have a small little nose. And... It ran out, and I pulled out, and I want you to know, 
purchased these in a huge kit that Sephora had during the um, holiday where they have like all this little, you know, they do a mascara one, they do a lipstick one. Well, I wanted the bronzer one. And these are the minis. That They're smaller because they're from that sit, set. So it's sad about this. So what I did was I went and I pulled out the Too Faced chocolate. So like, and oh my gosh, I'm in more love. And of course it smells like chocolate. Um, this is a different kind of of a bronzer but it's just as pretty it's dark and I'm probably going to purchase the big one of both of these but for now I'm finishing this up I'm starting this one and um, I still have about four more